Good morning, listeners. And you're back on our side. Three years ago, it was merely a dream. A radio station at one of South Africa's oldest and largest pediatric hospitals. Now these children and their parents are celebrating a first for African broadcasting. RX Radio presenters are former and current patients of the Red Cross War Memorial Children's Hospital in Cape Town with discussions about chronic illnesses, treatment, side effects and personal experiences, the shows are a source of both information and a comfort for families. 13-year-old Jesse Solomons has spent many nights in hospital. Diagnosed with a chronic illness, he used to be self-conscious, insecure and had few friends. It's really, how can I say, boring in hospital. You don't get a lot of action, but when you hear about RX Radio in, in the Red Cross, you feel that you want to be a part of it. RX Radio is like a home for children. The people who's on RX Radio gives a voice to children in the hospital. Parents say the station has been a lifesaver. Living in this hospital, sleeping here, um, the staff has been awesome. And when Dr. Gab introduced the radio station to him, he sort of come out of his shell. To date, RX Radio has trained nearly 100 former patients. A group of volunteers ensures the station has up-to-date content and music, but children set the agenda. The children are at the centre of everything. They are the ones who come up with the scripts, they are the ones who come up with their show ideas, they are the ones who come up with the questions for the guests, um, they give ideas for the guests. They, it's all about them and hearing their voice, it's all centred on them. Named for the letters on a prescription, RX has helped families and hospital staff alike. The station currently broadcasts at two hospitals in the city. RX Radio has ambitious plans to obtain an FM frequency and broadcast to other hospitals across the country. Founders hope young patients will feel inspired listening to children who know what it's like to be hospitalized. Crystal Audison, TRT World, Cape Town.